Hi everyone, it's Diane. Welcome back to my channel, Scrap Addict Creations. Today I have for you some lovely layouts from the lovely paper collection by Close to My Heart. This will be a four part series of layout shares. The papers are very springy, very lovely. Oh, pun, um, sorry. And just all over fun, beautiful papers to work with. So the first layout I have for you, I've titled it Lavender, but actually it should probably be titled Love This. So I'll change that to Love This in the instructions. Uh, let's see here, down below. <laughs> there we go. I'm getting better. Okay, so for this layout, I used White Daisy, eight and a half by 11 and a fourth. The floral paper is three by eight and a half. There's a polka dot zip strip that's a half an inch by eight and a half. And there is, you know, of course, on each page. The photo mats on this one are actually in Misty Moonlight by Stampin' Up. I didn't have paper that matched this at the time that I created it. So I've got three that are three and three fourths by five and a fourth and two that are three by four. This is when I was starting to kind of get into the three by four pictures more than the four by six. And so I had cut these down and to this three and a fourth by five and a fourth, which matches a picture size from Amazon. And then I thought, oh, I'll do a couple of wallet sizes here. And I really like the wallet size. So this is kind of when things started transitioning, but I ran with the, the same kind of photo sizes through this paper kit and possibly another one because I had some pictures I was I was pulling from some other um, albums. Okay, so I used a picture my life card here and then I cut this misty moonlight strip one eighth by three and put it at the top and the bottom, kind of make a little hanging picture frame without the hanging part on that. I popped this sticker next to that. I just liked how it kind of embraced each other and just looked like, you know, like you were sitting out in a and a farm, and there was two buckets of flowers there waiting for you. Just kind of where my mind rambled to on that one. The Love This title is from the Love This Wood title. So see, actually, they're called something else, I believe. Um, later on, I mention it. Yeah, I think it's Love This Wood titles. Okay, well, we'll run with that. I'm not sure. They don't offer that anymore, so I can't really look it up. Um, I cut this lavender here out of Misty Moonlight on my silhouette. It was before I was using the um, the Cricut more. So, and I had found these and I thought they just matched perfectly to kind of embrace both sides of this. And this ribbon right here is from my stash. It's actually something I, I purchased um, some spools from Really Reasonable Ribbon oh, quite a while back. And I just thought it looked really nice right there and kind of matched this, this little polka dot um, zip strip, which I had to use because it's just such a pretty zip strip. Okay, so the next layout I'm going to share with you is titled Forever Family. And there's one sheet and here's the other. Okay, so before I started working on these, I actually got a layout idea file oh, he's a little crooked a little glue dot from kelly who got it from another um maker and this was the the picture and then if you look here there is the instructions and that is 12 by 12. okay and so what i did with it is i kind of stuck with the same feel i wasn't a hundred percent sure how I, how I was going to lay it all down. And this is what I came up with. So that's going to bug me little glue dot. <laughs> okay. No, now it's the other way. How funny. So this light floral paper right here is cut to four and a fourth by five and three eighths. And this one right here is four and a fourth by five and three eighths. It's a lemonade gingham pattern paper. I put white daisy as the back, my standard eight and a half by 11 and a fourth. And then I use this um, ballerina polka dot pattern paper at four and a fourth by five and three eighths. And then this stripe coordinating paper at four and a fourth by five and three eighths. And I just 
mimicked what they had done in this layout. Okay, so then I took Ballerina and I did six three by four photo mats. I thought that fit really nice in each of the spaces. And I opted to use this So Much Love Picture My Life card and then pop these stickers up. So these are actually over their coordinating colors. And this one I put offset as I did with the little lavender over here. I, I fell in love with how that looked. And so I just kind of followed through with that. Um, I chose the Forever Family, just like on the main. Oops, let's see if I can pick that up just like they did here, but I didn't use this house or these little flowers and such. Um, they don't really fit with my kids, so I ran more with the Forever Family. I gave the houses and all the, the little accoutrements to my friend because her daughter had just bought a house, and so I figured between all the layouts she was doing, she did have this paper set as well, um, but she only, I believe only had one set. So having those extra stickers really will help in making more layouts for her and for her family. So I used the Forever Family. I used a picture of my life card here so I could do some journaling about whatever my kids are doing. Something springy, of course, because this is just total spring to me. Um, little hearts. And then I used these blossom, let's see, white flower sequins. And I topped them with some tiny gems. You can see them kind of uh, come on, focus, focus, focus. I can kind of see them. I fell in love with those. They are so cute. I have a couple packages of those and I foresee buying a bunch more in my future. I had just done prior to this layout set, the little piggy booklet and oh my gosh, it was so cute. I had so much fun. My niece loves piggies. And so I thought, well, this is the perfect way to, to one, get this stamp set, and two, to just kind of have fun with it. I had a blast. And in that set, you got um, the colorful version. It was there's reds, there's greens, there's blues, purples. And so I had used those in that little piggy book, and I probably used a little more than I was you know, called for because they were just so cute. And so then I bought these white ones, and I thought, oh, they're going on these layouts. So that's why those are there because they're just so cute. So the next layout was an interesting one as well. I really deviated on this one. So I just had to tweak it to work for me. Um, little strips of paper I just thought were a little big and there wasn't a lot of photo space that was gonna show paper. I, I'm not possibly not saying that correctly, but I was just having fun and I had my my uh, banner punch out, which is very similar. I don't have it out right now. Very similar to this piece of this, uh, doo, 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 that punch, um, but in this size. It's just over in my drawer. I forgot to grab it. So I had that out and I had been playing with it. And I just started making these little bits of paper and I thought, I want to do a banner. So I did. And I started with a dark floral, and then I went to um, Bluebell, and then a light floral, and then this lemonade gingham, and then the pastel heart paper, and then sage, and then the ballerina polka dot, and then a light floral, and then sage, and then lemonade <laughs> gingham, and then pink polka dot, well, it says ballerina polka dot, and a pastel heart and bluebell and ended with the darker floral and it was so much fun these are fun layouts to do and i popped every other paper i didn't add a string underneath it i was going to but i wanted it just to kind of end with the paper and not with the little knot so that's why i did it this way um it would be just as cute and fun to do it with a string and have the little ties here maybe even here you know, do it your way. I had fun with this my way. So each of these little guys here is two by three, and then I use that punch. These little flower buttons right here are from a uh, little birdie. I happened to be at Creativation and ordered a ton from them. Very fun 
stuff. And as you order things, the more you order, the more you save. Even though I have a wholesale account with a lot of people, um, they don't really do it the same way. And it's coming from, I believe, India. So it does take quite a while. I think we order, let's see, we were in there and towards the end of January. And I want to say we got our order in April. Um, <clears throat> but they're so cute and so fun. And you could color these. I left them kind of raggedy white or whitewashed white looking because that's what I felt looked good on my layout. But of course, in any of those instances with those chipboards, you can always color them whatever color you want. So I used a little bit of a zip strip on this yellow lemonade gingham and on this ballerina polka dot. So those are two of the zip strips. Very cute. I used the hearts from the lovely kit. And I used these little um, enamel dots. I had gotten those in one of the other kits I had done earlier in the year. Actually, I think it was the Easter kit. I want to say it was Daisy Meadows. Yep, it was Daisy Meadows. I got those from the Daisy Meadows kit and I had those left over. So that's why they're there. And then I did three and three fourths by five and a fourth, two of those for Bluebell photo mats and three three by four photo mats in Bluebell. And this was just a fun, you know, kind of the end of the line layout. It's just what I had. And like I said, this was just one of those layouts I just started playing with and really enjoyed enjoyed making it. Okay, so we are done for today. I don't know where I put that little piece of paper that has the pictures of the papers. Let's see here. I have all sorts of papers sitting around. Well, I have these layout ideas. I'll just set those out. So these were two of the layout ideas I've already shared with you today. And uh, a lot of fun. And if you zoom in on them, you can see that... They are 12 by 12, and you can copy them. Um, just have fun with them. So I want to thank you for spending time with me today. And tomorrow we'll do another set of lovely layouts. I have three more videos to do on those and some more of these idea sheets. But I do hope you love the layouts I shared with you today. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel for notifications when I release videos. And have a wonderful night. Good night. Bye.